my name is Kamari and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a what's in my bag video. So this is my Nanette Lepore bucket bag. And now you guys know I do own the Coach Town bucket bag and I really, really love bucket bags. Now, if I had to choose between the Coach Town bucket bag and this bag, I think I like this bag a little bit better and I'm gonna tell you why. So this bag has an exterior pocket on the back and what I like about this pocket is really wide so it can fit for many different size phones and it fits the, the phone comfortably. Like most bags they do have like an exterior pocket where you could put miscellaneous things or you could place your phone but then when you pack the bag up to capacity it kind of makes it a tight fit for your phone to go in there but with this bag it does not do that like you can fill this bag up to capacity and your phone still is easy to put in and take out which is what sold me on this bag now like i said i do like the exterior pocket on this bag and then i do like the drawstrings on this bag as well i also like that it does have the logo on here but it's very minimalistic and it's not in your face so i really love that about this bag as well and yeah now this bag did come with its own strap for it but I decided to use a strap that I actually had for my coach camera bag it was from the um, coach Dempsey camera bag and I took the strap off of the bag and used it for um, this bag and this is what the strap looks like now with this strap it kind of reminded me of the coach Dempsey uh, bucket bag and I'll, I'll probably insert a picture of it but yeah when I added the strap to this bag it kind of put me into my uh, that now i'm going to show you guys what i have on the outside of the bag and then i'm going to show you what i have on the inside of the bag so on the outside of this bag charm i just have two mini charms on here that came from a wristlet and it's just a bear as well as two martini glasses now i don't drink so if i'm wrong correct me if i'm wrong but i believe these are martini glasses so when you open her up in the front she does come with an exterior pocket i just have some um medications in here this is just like a um another version of pepto bismol in a pill form and then i have some allergy medication as well and that's all that i keep in the front pocket and then on the outside pocket i just have my pepper spray and then I just have my inhaler and then I have some lip gloss and this is a Victoria's Secret lip gloss I really like their lip glosses and that's all that I keep inside of there and I could put more in there if I really wanted to but I just kept those main things in there because I didn't want to weigh the bag down too much and then on this side I just have this um little fur ball that i got off of amazon a very long time ago and then i just have my coach bag charm with a little cute little pink flower on it and so now i'm going to show you guys what's on the inside of my bag okay you guys so on the exterior pocket of this bag i just have my phone this is a galaxy s21 So this bag has three compartments on the inside. So we're gonna start with the front compartment. So in this compartment, I just have my coach key case. Then I just have my coach win wallet. I have my pouch that I just keep my cords in for like my phone as well as my little finger clipper thing next I just keep my Victoria's Secret accordion wallet that I just keep gift cards and reward cards in now in this middle pouch right here I just have some pads my oil blotting sheets <clears throat> my 
purse hook. A hand lotion. And it also has a zipper pocket on the inside as well, as well as another pocket right here, which I just keep my floss sticks. <clears throat> and this poopery. And then I also have a little pink pin in here. And then in this zipper pocket, I just have my, my hand cream from Bath and Body Works. And then I have this Donna Karen cashmere mist wipe thing. It came as a sample in something. And then I just have some fragrances. This is the Paco Rayban. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Correct me if I'm wrong. Olympia. Um, Chloe Love Story. And then this is um, Clinique and Bloom. And then in this pocket right here, I just have my Coach wristlet. And in here, I just keep um, a hand sanitizer, a Dior hand lotion, eye drops, a lip gloss, another perfume, some wipes, some toilet seat covers, some feminine wipes, a panty liner and then there's like a and then this uh, fingernail file in here I also have my galaxy buds in here then I have a pack of tissues in here And then I have these sunglasses that I have from Shein inside and they came with this black sunglass case. And that's all that I have in this bag, so now I'm just gonna pack her back up. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to check out the ladies that I mentioned earlier, Miss Percival, as well as Dazzle Me 77 Now, I wanted to chat with you guys before I end this video, so I just wanted to reflect a little bit. So, I wanted to say, because I posted this on Facebook, I do not believe in five-year plans, and I'm gonna tell you why. Five years ago, I was homeless, sleeping on an air mattress, staying in someone's kitchen with my two-year-old daughter. Yes, you heard that right. I was homeless, sleeping on some in someone's kitchen on an air mattress with my two-year-old daughter. You're probably wondering, like, how are you homeless sleeping on someone's uh, someone's kitchen on an um, air mattress? Um, so five years ago, I was very stressed out. I had gained like 40 pounds in like two three months because I was emotionally eating because I was in and out of court 
with my daughter's father because I was trying to get a judge to agree to let me move out of state because I was living in New Jersey and it was kind of not a good neighborhood where we lived in. Then I was struggling to find a job so that I could possibly um, stay but it was not working out for me and then her father wasn't being cooperative we ended our relationship because he was abusive towards me and so that um that's why i went to a judge because i wanted to make sure i took care of things legally because i'm annoying my daughter's father he probably would have just tried to say i kidnapped her and i was not trying to go that route now but in june of 2017 me and my daughter we got on a train and we moved back home because i did ultimately get approved by a judge to be able to move with her to back home to Illinois which is where I'm initially from and so we got on the train and I stayed with my sister and then I believe in fall of that year I got my first decent job and in six months I was able to save enough money to move out also I wanted to mention that I did not know how to drive at that time I think I was like what about 20 23 or so so at that time I didn't have I know how to drive I didn't have my license so in seven months I learned how to drive because I went to driving school. Then I saved enough money to buy a car and move out into my own apartment with me and my daughter. And I moved into a studio because that was what I could afford at that time. And then also it allowed me the flexibility to save money. Um, so uh, I feel like as a parent, I have sacrificed a lot. And this is not a complaint because I'm happy that I was able to do these things. But um so i like i said i lived in the studio which allowed me to save money each month as well as you know pay for all of my bills and whatnot and i got me a car i learned how to drive and all those things and now fast forward to the now fast forward to today um i'm a homeowner my daughter is happy she is healthy and we are, are thriving i finally started that youtube channel because five years ago I, i've always wanted to do youtube but i just never was in the space to do it but over the years i have been like slowly like investing in myself by like uh, by a camera one year um a computer the next year my editing software things like that so i bought all of these things over time because ultimately this was my plan for myself to start a youtube channel and see where it takes me and i just share this all to say that during those times those hard times that i had where i was going through all of these things i didn't have a plan for myself my plan was just to survive with my baby whatever that looked like for me to just get us out of whatever tough situation that we was in that was my plan and ultimately that's what got me through i just made to make sure that me and that little girl was good and that's what i made sure that we did and i just wanted to say that to say that there's like there there's a blessing and a lesson in my story and hopefully if anybody is like struggling or going through something right now just know that there is a rainbow at the end of the storm like it's just because something bad is happening to you right now doesn't mean that it's going to happen to you forever and and don't think that it's that it's not possible for something good to happen to you because it's definitely possible it definitely is and i think that that story that I shared with you all is going to teach you that and I had to learn that over the years even right now I'm going through my little things right now but I had to remind myself this time right now is reminding me like girl five years ago you were stressed out like you were going through it I don't even know how I survived all of that I'm, so, I'm grateful that I wasn't suffering from depression either because that was a very tough time for me but I, I overcame that and now I am doing much better today. Even though I still got my struggles, it's not that I'd rather be taking today's struggle than the struggles that I had five years ago, cause baby, man. And hopefully one day I can just go into death about that story, cause there's a lot of bullshit in that story that comes along with that. Oh man, it's a lot of bullshit, but, and I learned so much over the years, so much. I, I, I feel like having a kid at a young age definitely taught me so many things that I'm grateful that I have learned so I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one bye